Today, we'll cover some of the more advanced programming options and features of the EVO 100 Hosen Timer. In this video, we will demonstrate how to change the time format, set cyclical irrigation programs, set a start day in the cyclical mode, set odd or even water days, set, change, or delete multiple start times, and finally, connect a rain sensor. The EVO 100 start timer is factory set to be in the 12 hour AM PM time mode. To change the time mode to the 24 hour format, first make sure the timer shows the current time icon in the upper right corner of the display. Next, push and hold the down arrow button for about three seconds and the AM PM will disappear. The timer will now be in the 24 hour time format in all modes. To revert back to the AM PM time format, we just repeat the process and AM PM will reappear. In addition to watering on specific days of the week, the EVO 100 can also be set to water on a cyclical basis, from every day to every 30 days in one day increments. In some climate zones with dense clay soil types, this infrequent schedule is beneficial for many plants and trees. To set the timer to water every nine days, for example, First, press the right or left arrow buttons until the set days icon appears in the lower left corner of the display. Press the target button until Monday will flash. Press the left arrow button and the display will flash. To set the timer to water every nine days, press the down arrow button and lower the entry down to show nine days. Press the target button to stop the 9 from flashing and lock in the selection. Now let's move on to the rain delay. The rain delay can be used to set the start day of a cyclical program or to temporarily stop the automatic operation of the program for a specific number of days. Let's take the every 9 day example and set up a rain delay so the 9 day cycle starts in 3 days from today. First, push the right arrow button until the rain delay icon appears. Then press the target button again, make the display flash, and then press the up arrow button until three appears. The every nine day irrigation cycle will now start in three days from the current day. Press the target button to confirm the selection and the display will stop flashing. Now let's move on to the odd even day options. In order to comply with watering restrictions, in some locations there may be times when it is necessary to water only on days of the month that end in odd or even numbers. In this case, it's easy to set the EVO 100 to water according to the schedule. To do so, press the right or left arrow button until the set days icon appears in the lower left corner of the screen. Push the target button and the displayed entry will flash. Press the right or left arrow buttons and odd or even will begin flashing. To water only on odd numbered days of the month, just press the target button when odd is flashing. Or to water on even numbered days, push the down arrow and even will appear. Then push the target button and even will stop flashing. Now the timer will only water on even numbered days of the month. There may be some locations with sandy soils and sensitive plant material where it is best for the irrigation system to water more than once per day. The EVO 100 can water up to four times per day. By default, the second, third, and fourth start times are set to off. To activate one or more of these start times, press the right or left arrow button until the start time icon appears in the lower left corner of the screen. Start one will appear above the icon and the first start time will appear. Now, press the center target button and the hour digit will flash. Next, press the right arrow button and start two appears on the left. Enter a second start time by pressing the up or down arrow buttons to set the starting hour. Then press the right arrow button again to set the minutes in the same manner. If more start times are desired, press the right arrow button and repeat the process. If not, simply press the target button to lock in the start time, and the timer will now water more than once on every watering day. To delete an unwanted start time, the process is reversed. Just make the hour digit flash, and then push the up or down arrow button to change the hour until off appears. Off appears between 11 p.m. and 12 a.m. 
Then push the target button to confirm the selection. The EVO 100 is equipped with a pair of yellow wires that can be used to connect a wired rain sensor so that the timer will not water by program after a user set amount of rainfall occurs. Rain sensors are made by a variety of manufacturers and they are not difficult to install. To do so, mount the normally closed rain sensor to a roof eave or other uncovered location that will receive direct rainfall. Run the wires from the sensor down to the EVO 100 timer. Cut the yellow sensor wire loop in the middle and strip the two ends back about a half inch to bare wire. Splice each end of the two yellow wires to one of the two wires coming from the rain sensor using waterproof wire connectors. When a sufficient amount of rainfall has occurred and the sensor is active, the sensor icon will appear on the display and the watering schedule will be suspended until the sensor dries out. Manual operations will still function even when the timer is temporarily suspended by the sensor. When the sensor dries out, the icon will disappear and the timer will again water automatically by program. The EVO 100 hose end timer is just one of the many water saving products from DIG. To view more videos and learn more about DIG irrigation products or low volume irrigation systems, please log on to our website, digcorp.com. Thanks for watching.